Hello guys, welcome. Now we are going to discuss the solutions of module 3 quiz. An operator able to check whether two values are not equal is coded as not equal. How many stars will the following statement set to the console? So given first i is equal to 2 and they have given a file loop. First, i is greater than or equal to 0, means 2 is greater than or equal to 0, so it is correct condition. So we will enter into the loop and we will print 1 star. Now what happens, i is equal to i minus 2, it means i is equal to 2 minus 2 which is 0. Now again it will check the condition and as of now i is equal to 0. So if 0 is greater than or equal to 0, so this condition is true. Now it will enter into the loop and print 1 star. Now i equals to 0 minus 2 which is minus 2. Again it will come to the starting of the loop and it will check whether minus 2 is greater than or equals to 0. It is false. So the loop will end. So how many stars has printed? 2 stars. So our answer is 2. How many hashes? Will the following secret sent to the console? Here they have given the range function. Range function will execute up to n minus 1. It means here 1 minus 1, 0. So for i is equal to minus 1 and for i is equal to 0, it will print two hashes. So the answer is 2. What will be the value? What will be assigned to the variable x? They have given z is equal to 10, y is equal to 0, and x is equal to z greater than y or z equals to equals to 1. So let's check this. z is greater than 1, it means 10 is greater than 0, or 10 equal to equal to 0. 10 greater than 0 is correct, or 10 equals to equals to 0 is false. So as it is the OR operator, if any one of the operator is true, then the result will be true. So the answer will be true. What is the output of the following code? So they have given a list that is 3, 1, minus 1. And the list of minus 1 is equal to list of minus 2. In any other languages, negative indexing is considered as wrong. But in Python, negative indexing is correct. If it is indicated with negative, as here, minus 1, it means from the end, the first element. So, here, list of minus 1 is equal to list of minus 2 means, this is minus 1 position, this is minus 2. So, list of minus 2 means 1. So, our a listing will be as a one and one. The else is equal to zero, one, two. So here, what happens? The else is equal to zero, comma one, comma two. So if they have given value of zero is equal to values of 1 and values of 1 is equal to values of 2. So the options are about length. We are assigning the values itself. So the length will not change. Does not change the display. Take a look at the script and choose one of the following statements which is true. They have given an empty list once. And they have assigned the nums to and the list values. Now they appended the one to values. So if they given like this, whatever changes occur in values, it will also happen to nums. So if they append one to values, it will also append to nums. So nums and values are of same length. Now they have given an empty list to nums and values is equal to nums of brackets with the 
Now, whatever changes occur to valves will not occur to numbs. So, they have appended 1 to valves. It will not append to numbs. So, numbs length will be 0 and valves length will be 1. So, valves is longer than numbs. How many elements does the list L contain? So, they have given the range function. So, the range function will execute up to n minus 1. So, if i is equal to 1, it will print, uh, the list will contain an element 0. And if i is equal to 2, the list will contain 0. So, the total number of elements containing in list is 2. What is the output of the following snippet? They have given the list as cover 2. Now, x is equal to 1. So, they have added a for loop. For element in list, x is equal to x into element. Now, if element is equal to, it is iterating through the list. So, first in first iteration, x is equal to 1 into 0, that is equal to 0. In the second iteration, x is equal to, x means here now 0. Into Element means 1, which is also 0. Next, x is equal to 0 into 2, which is also 0. And x is equal to 0 into 3, which is also 0. So, the final value of x is 0. So, let's submit it. Hopefully, we got the correct answers. So, thank you for watching this video.